<sighs> if we cared about every Jewish soul the way Lamplighters does, then we know we're in a good place. You'll hear a lot of incredible things about Lamplighters Yeshiva this evening and the importance of the school for every single child who attends. I know how incredible the school is. It is incredible for my Shalom. Let me tell you a little bit about him. My Shalom was born November 23rd, 2010. He was the most precious baby. Cuddled, giggled. Shalom was reaching all of his physical milestones, but we knew something was different. Shalom was different. At two and a half years old, Shalom was diagnosed with PDD, also known as autism. My son had autism. As a mom, I was crushed. But something inside of me set off this go-get-it mode, like I was going to do this for my kid. One of the things I have learned on this journey of ours is that a parent is a child's best advocate. I knew as his mom, I was going to get him the help that he needed to make sure he was going to be successful. Do you know what it's like to have a child with autism? Having a child with autism makes day-to-day -day life different and sometimes difficult. I can't just say, Shalom, let's get ready for school, go get your clothes. I have to prepare his clothes, lay them out on the floor, make sure he's even following what I'm saying. And then there's getting in the car and making sure his video is on and the volume's on before we even start driving, because God forbid, if the music goes off, Shalom is jumping out of his car seat, touching every single button on the car. And it's very scary. Um, and those are just a few examples of what it's like having a child with autism. Bringing Shalom to Lamplighters was a breath of fresh air. It's so refreshing to see a classroom full of kids so happy, learning ABCs, Olive Bays, one-on-one -on -one with the Moras. And then you see Shalom sitting and doing, organizing his animals in the correct continents. And what do I feel like? I feel so happy. And what do I feel like as a mom? I feel successful. I feel like I did it for my kid. And at Lamplighters, Shalom is successful. Another thing that Lamplighters offers is Shalom has friends. Every single morning, Shalom says, can I play with Yaakov Dovber? Can I play with Yaakov Posner and Ezra? And those are just a few. Shalom has real, genuine friends, like classmate friends, not guys that he's obsessed with from Shul. These are real, real friends. And from that alone, my heart is so full. And then there's getting pictures on our WhatsApp group. By the way, which school has a personalized WhatsApp group per child? Lamplighters says. We get pictures of Shalom doing spelling animal letters with animal names with Marhana and math with Marshana, and the list can go on and on. Why is this all so important to me? Seeing Shalom happy is important to me for a few reasons. My father, Mati, loved my Shalom. He loved his sweet smile. He loved his beautiful voice when he would read Olive Bays at the young age of two. My father had his inside jokes with Shalom. My father saw past autism. He saw Shalom for Shalom. My father used to always say to me, like, Sassy, there's nothing wrong with him. And he's right. There was nothing wrong with him. His brain is just programmed differently than ours. My father saw Shalom for Shalom. My father passed away a little over a year and a half ago at a very young age of 52. And something I've learned from this is how life is so precious and valuing every single moment because it is precious. Shalom being successful was important to my father and making sure he was nurtured for and cared for in the appropriate way and with so much love. And that is something that Lamplighters offers to my Shalom. Shalom was aging out, and we needed a new school option for him. And the opportunity came up for us to join Lamplighters. And since joining Lamplighters, there is no turning back. And we could not be happier. A few short weeks ago, Shalom was the Shabbos Abba. He came to school early, made challah with Marachana, and wore the special Shabbos Abba hat at circle time. I happened to be in school this week, so I was able to see this in real life. 
But as I was sitting on the side watching this incredible moment, I saw Shalem's face beaming with joy. Shalem looked like the rest of the class. My Shalem belonged. My boy belonged. If you're thinking about giving, think about Shalem. I want you to think about what this school has done for my child and for other children who in other schools would have been forgotten about. I want you to think, or would have lost part of their neshama. In many other schools, Shalem would have been lost. And more importantly, would have lost part of his pintalayid. Don't you see why we're here tonight? We're here to help the Jewish soul. This is the importance of this evening. My father saw Shalem's pintalayid. Ta, if you were here, I know you would be proud of me. <laughs>